So in that way, I think black holes are a kind of portal into some of the biggest mysteries of our universe. So it is a, it's a good terrain on which to explore these ideas. So can, can you speak about some of the mysteries that mm -hmm. the black holes present us with? Yeah, I think it's important to separate the idea that there are these astrophysical states that become black holes um, from being synonymous with black holes, because black holes are kind of this, this larger um, idea, and uh, they might have been made primordially when the Big Bang happened. And there, there's something flawless about black holes that makes them fundamental, um, unlike anything else. So uh, they're flawless in the sense that you can completely understand a black hole by looking at just its charge, electric charge, its mass, and its spin. And every black hole with that charge, mass, and spin is identical to every other black hole. You can't be like, oh, that one's mine. I recognize it. <laughs> it has this little feature, and that's how I know it's mine. They're featureless. They, you, you try to put uh, Mount Everest on a black hole, and it will shake it off in these gravitational waves. It will radiate away this imperfection until it settles down to be a perfect black hole again. So there's something about them that is unlike, and another way, reason why I don't like to call them objects in a traditional sense, unlike anything else in the universe that's macroscopic. It's kind of a little bit more like a fundamental particle. So an electron is described by a certain short list of properties, charge, mass, spin, maybe some other quantum numbers. That's what it means to be an electron. There's no electron that's a little bit different. You can't recognize your electron. They're all identical in that sense. Um, and, and so in some very abstract way, black holes share something in common with microscopic fundamental particles. And so what they tell us about the fundamental laws of physics um, can be very profound. And it's why even theoretical physicists, mathematical physicists, not just astronomers who use telescopes, they rely on the black hole as a terrain to perform their thought experiments. And, and it's because there's something fundamental about them. Yeah, general relativity means quantum mechanics, mm -hmm. means and singularity. And sadly, heartbreakingly so, it's out of reach for mm. experiment at this moment, but mm. it's, but it's within reach for theoretical. It's in physics. reach for, for thought experiments. For thought experiments. Which are quite beautiful.